Hey, this is Woody. I'm an orthoparian. You too can be an orthoparian. Today, we're gonna to talk about feeding and harvesting out of our compost pile. Brown carbon. Tree clippings from a commercial tree company. Free materials. Green nitrogen. Nitrogen materials are grown on the property. We cut it up, smaller pieces, and dump it on the top of the pile so that we can later use the elevation to pull the materials down into the mine that we're gonna create. Turn the wheelbarrow around. My trusty spade. I like using the one with the handle and the compost pile, the shorter one. Well, I'm not sure why, it just seems to work better. Sometimes it's easier to use the pitchfork to get the bigger stuff up the top. It's more like a rake. And if I'm doing it a lot, I will have my heavy duty Rogue rake over here as well. So I'm looking for an area to mine. Oh, look at that, good. Woo! Look at that, baby. It's activated carbon. We built that last year as well. We had a family donate a bunch of wood to us. And so we turned it into activated carbon charcoal. So this looks pretty good. You can see where I had some leftover sand, building materials. We just work in all these dynamics all kinds of biodynamic organic matter into the soil. Dig down, I take a peek at it, it looks really good. Man, that's a lot of activated, activated carbon, activated charcoal. Look at that. So this is a good spot I found. Sometimes I'll run into a bunch of, you know, I've got a lot of palm trees on the property, which is a really nice green, nitrogen, green matter input into the compost pile. But if they're too fresh and they haven't cooked for long enough at a high enough temperature, I'll dig into them and I'll, I'll just, it'll be at a dead end. <clears throat> and so I'll know that that area is not ready to harvest yet. We'll pull this out. You can see there's some cardboard in there. If you go over there, Andrew, and look at the makeup of it. <clears throat> River's always standing by in case we find some grub worms or roaches in here. He loves eating those things. I know, kind of gross, right? Ugh. Grub worms and roaches. What you think, river dog? So we're harvesting. I'll fill up a wheelbarrow full or two or three. Sometimes I will find tape from cardboard boxes. I'll just peel it off, put that in my pocket. <clears throat> we usually try to pull the tape off of it, but sometimes it doesn't all get pulled off. Go to Costco, we'll bring home the cardboard boxes there. I, instead of putting them in the dump, we put them out here and they're, they become part of the compost pile. They're a carbon input. Brown is carbon, green is nitrogen. If you look around the property, permaculture, we teach a three-dimensional design process. So if you look around, see all the potential energy we have, the green nitrogen matter we can take from clippings. This early spring, you can see the pecan trees are budding, starting to come out, the anaquas are going into full bloom. And so we can use all of that into the, in the compost pile. We used to have to put horse manure in here for the nitrogen input, 
But now we don't have to because we're growing our own nitrogen input here at the demonstration lab. We've been working on restoring this property for several years, 10, 11 years now. And composting has always been a big part of our restoration efforts. It's scalable, it can be done in small bins as you've seen at the big box stores sell the black bins that you can roll. So we just use that hill to pull the materials down, pull in some of the mulch, layer it like lasagna. And we got enough nitrogen here to where I'll probably wait to use all of it in another hole. There you go. Sometimes uh, one more thing you can do, so we can, we can get some more in here. Since we cut it down with machetes, we uh, can fit more in there and the process will start working a lot faster. And we can bring a temperature gauge over here in a couple of days and show you guys the temperature of this area and how fast this will go to work. No more manure on the property. The manure was great, it was free from a horse farm just right around the corner. It's nice getting it close, reducing the logistics of the energy inputs, but I never knew what the horse owners were feeding their horses. Could be antibiotics, could be the exact opposite thing that I'm trying to do here on the property. And here's those leaves with all the mineral, red oak leaves, mineral matter. That's just beautiful mineral stuff. And these guys will break up real soon and just fall right down into the cracks. <clears throat> yeah, we'll come check on that in a couple of days for you. I'm Woody, I'm an Earthoparian. You too can be an Earthoparian. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed our video, like, share, and subscribe below. And remember, when you heal the earth, you heal yourself.